hands. So.
apply this effect to it for the rest of this turn. Each time, it destroys a monster by battle whose current attack is greater than or equal to the targeted monster's original attack, and sends it to the graveyard. Banish the destroyed monster, and if you do, banish all monsters from your opponent's hand, main deck, extra deck, and graveyard with the same name that the destroyed monster had in the graveyard. So that's pretty cool. They're all limited edition. So, they're always good to have in the collection with these awesome sleeves. Okay. So, we've got nine booster packs here. Some 
interesting stuff here for sure. <clears throat> I 
special summon this card. When you do, you can declare level from 3 to 5. The level of all monsters you currently control become the declared level. If you activate this effect, monsters you control cannot activate their effects for the rest of the turn, except water type monsters. Oath of Companionship. If you control no monsters that were special summoned from the extra deck, target one face-up monster your opponent controls that was special summoned. Take control of it until the end phase. You cannot special summon during the turn this card is activated. That's pretty cool. Gravekeeper's Nobleman. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Look at that. When this card you control is destroyed by battle with an opponent's attacking monster and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Gravekeeper monster from your deck in phase down defense position, except Gravekeeper's Nobleman. Beautiful card. I'm going to set that over here. Black Brachios again. Dodo -do -do Buster. One second. Move that back up here. special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, its level becomes 4. When this card is tribute summoned, you can target one Dodo -do monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in face up defense position. Oh god. Kill a kill a lancer. <laughs> Six star. If your opponent controls a monster, and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card. During each end phase, you take 500 damage. This card must be face up on the field to activate and to resolve this effect. That's not bad, actually. At least I don't think it is. Play it turn one. Camera's going all wonky here. There we go. Alrighty. Pack number four. per turn, you can choose a number from 1 to 3, then excavate that many cards from the top of your deck. Send any excavated plant-type monsters to the graveyard. Also, place the other cards on the bottom of the deck in any order. If this card is excavated from the deck and sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can target one other plant-type monster in your graveyard and place it on top of your deck. Switch. This card can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a blind type monster. Ghost Trick Jack Frost again. Exceed Shift again. Sorry, I kind of have to hurry. I'm hitting the 30 minute mark here, 9 minutes. So. Gravekeeper's Ambusher. When this card is flipped face up, 
place that target on the bottom of the deck. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard after being flipped face up, you can target one Necro Valley in your graveyard and add it to your hand. This cannot be negated by the effect of Necro Valley. My camera's going all wonky here now. Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Beast. When a monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. If summoned this way, banish this card when it leaves the field. You can only use it once per turn. I'm not saying its name again. Snapdragon. When this card is sent to the graveyard, banish one random card from your opponent's hand. Until the end phase, you can only use it once per turn. Gorgonic Golem. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, the attack of the monster that destroyed it becomes zero. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one set spell or trap card your opponent controls. That target cannot be activated this turn. Your opponent cannot activate the targeted card in response to this effect's activation. Ghost Trick Go Round. Once per turn during the battle phase, you can activate one of these effects. Target one Ghost Trick monster you control, change it to face down defense position. If you do, change one face down defense position monster your opponent controls to face up attack position. Target one face down defense position monster you control, change it to face up attack position. And if you do, if it's a ghost trick, change one face up monster your opponent controls to face down defense position. Such text. Ghost trick skeleton. Here, I'll just let you guys read it now. There's too much wall of text involving. Ghost Tricks, Ghost Trick Museum, let's go all the Ghost Tricks, Deep Space Cruiser, that's pretty awesome, Sylvan Blessing, there you go, sorry I'm kind of in a rush now, <laughs> I spent too much time talking about the box at the start. Dragon. 
God's text. A thousand and zero. Holy crap. Release reverse burst again. The monarchs awaken again. Ghost trick skeleton. Ghost trick museum. That mummy though just looks so weird. So cartoony. Okay, last pack, guys. I'm sorry for the rush, but I don't want it to cut off and miss the last like minute of it. Dust on roller. Come on. Focus. Silly phone. Sylvan. Sphinx, four out of five pack, or four out of nine. Number 39, Utopia Roots. To one. Rose Witch. So only two foils out of nine packs. Not too bad, but not amazing either. Got four Deep Space Cruiser 9s, though. <laughs> Black Brachios. Mystic Macrocarpa Seed. Alright guys, well, we got a bunch of cards, and we got uh, two foils. We got Gravekeeper Nobleman and Sylvan Flower Knight for 15 bucks. It's not too shabby. And we got the sleeves, the promos, and the box. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, sorry for the rush at the end. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Happy Dingles.